Earlier today, we ended up getting a short teaser trailer for season three, continuing the trend of new information for season three, an item a day with the roadmap and blog post confirmed for tomorrow, detailing and revealing everything. But today's introduction offered a few big promises among the short offerings. So today, we're breaking it all down for you. As we go along, drop your thoughts on what you've seen for season three thus far. Do you like what we've seen? Maybe not so much. Lots of big promises. So is there anything that catches your eye? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything season three related. We're a week out from launch, so this is when things start really gearing up, so stick around if you're interested. And as always, make sure to check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, but more on them in a bit. For now, let's take a look at what we learned as of today with this new Season 3 teaser. The trailer itself, not too long, about 30 seconds, but a top-down overview of what you can expect, so let's check it out. I'm going after Valeria. Don't do your competitors' will. So the big parts here come down to a couple of different things. Firstly, that theme is continued on. It is now really confirmed that it's going to be a theme of Alejandro versus Valeria. Narratively, I'm really looking forward to that. I think that their dynamic and hinted at backstory in that campaign was really interesting, but we never got it expanded upon in the campaign for obvious time reasons. But I'm glad that we're revisiting it. We're learning a little bit more about sort of their dynamic, their backstory, and what this conflict now can go into. Honestly, being such a big story nerd, I'd take a movie out of the Modern Warfare universe any day. So narrative stuff I'm all for it's inconsequential in terms of gameplay stuff but love seeing that kind of universe and world building happening here with this but again a little bit more inconsequential to the overall gameplay experience but the big ticket items while nothing was really previewed in terms of gameplay we did see Paleo's lighthouse for a brief moment in the trailer they did also mention the confirmation of multiplayer maps so we will be seeing more than just Paleo's lighthouse but how many and if they're original or not we don't quite know what Call of Duty has since tweeted though is that we'll be seeing an NV G exclusive map coming with season three and a quick teaser image of that, but we can't really discern too much of the layout. The only thing that I can seemingly maybe pick out is what appears to be parts of like the Rohan oil location from Almazra, which does coincidentally have a file in the game that is a loading screen image of one of the oil containers at night, but perhaps that's just unrelated. However, NVGs for that map in particular are coming. Quite interesting. I liked the NVG modes in Modern Warfare 2019. I played them when they were briefly around, but they also really weren't for everybody. That's why they got pulled from the rotation very early on as a main sort of focal point of Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer, and then only came back once or twice as an LTM. But we'll have to wait and see if that just becomes too gimmicky as a straight up only nighttime map. But then also that ghost skin from the campaign is there. So maybe that's something coming as well. Beyond that, one thing that is interesting that I didn't quite get to touch on as of yesterday, but seems to have come out in a bit more clarity is that it seems like Paleo's Lighthouse is going to be almost like a state from Modern Warfare 2 in 2009, but don't necessarily know that it'll be quite like that. Looking at the minimap and the gameplay that Phase Dirty had with his reveal and what was showcased briefly in that official COD trailer as well, the minimaps don't quite match up one-to-one -one with the minimap for a state if you were to patch everything together, but there are elements and locations that are taken directly, similar to how Warzone has locations that are unnamed but are the same build as classic locations within the Modern Warfare universe. So something like that, where the main house does have that same sort of living room area. I saw a screenshot that was a one-to-one -one comparison of that. Look to check out, but again, the minimap could be something that it's a reimagination, or it could be something that it just seems like the minimap doesn't match up. But right now, there are at least elements of a state. So for that, I'm not going to call it 100% a brand new map, but we'll see how that all plays out. We also saw the confirmation of Gunfight and Cranked as game modes. Strangely, those weren't really the ones that were leaked. Cranked wasn't in those previously leaked mentions, but I'm all for it. I really do enjoy Cranked as a game mode here across the board. Gunfight, that is something we knew was coming for quite some time, but again, to what degree we don't quite know just yet. It is rumored we'll see four maps here with the launch of this, and unfortunately, if further leaks are to be believed, it seems like now we're not seeing original maps here with this, which is to me massively disappointing. I would have liked to at least see something small scale here like this. I mean, you could throw shipment in there, sure, but give us three at least original maps with that sense, especially given how little original maps we've seen to date thus far. But that's a different story for a different day. Not going to get hung up on that one. We also saw the confirmation of Al Masra Resurgence for Warzone. So you end up seeing that again, like sort of Caldera Resurgence that we saw back within Vanguard's year of support. So the larger big map 
battle royale experience with resurgence but in a smaller scale it'll section off different parts of it so we'll have that coming back as well definitely nice plunder is confirmed that coming later in season but the big one to me that's finally confirmed is warzone ranked previously this was something that we discussed that i anticipated this would be coming in season four with gunfight and plunder coming back that was kind of already a stacked lineup for sort of air quote key pillars of the gameplay experience coming in season three i mean launch of the game is of course the launch of the game followed by the warzone and dmz experience in season one ranked play for modern warfare 2 in season two gunfight and plunder in season three it seemed kind of logical they'd add another thing in season four now i'm not disappointed by any means for an early release but there's a lot of questions still here for this now confirmed later for this season more than likely introduced with mid-season and the reloaded update as all things go in regards to content distribution we don't see anything out of those two peaks per season launch and mid-season there's a lot to consider though now what the warzone ranked will entail how it will end up changing if there's any bans restrictions how the ranking system in sr will work if it'll be just like modern warfare 2 ranked and the same sort of parameters for how it is controlled That'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. So definitely interested to learn more about that. Maybe we'll see that in a blog post. Maybe it's something that's reserved for more information coming towards the maybe reloaded update and when it actually launches. We'll have to wait and see. And finally, the last thing that was detailed here was another thing called Black Cell. Now, this is apparently been hinted at for quite some time in the Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 Battle Pass right now. There's an icon up in the left which looks to be relating to that, but nobody's actually had any information on this. As of recent data mines and recent leaks, there is something that points to an operator associated with this, but to what degree that actually goes, we don't really have any idea. If it's something related to the battle pass, if it's a DMZ faction, if it's something entirely different, it is something that right now, surprisingly, there's not a lot of details here in regards to what Black Cell is. So that in particular, I'm very curious to see what it will be. Hopefully it lives up to sort of any anticipation and hype that could come along with it. Or maybe it's just something gimmicky that we're like, okay, that's, that's kind of dumb. So we'll have to wait and see how that all works out. But that is what was detailed here as of this new teaser trailer and what we learned. Again, we're getting something at least once a day, it seems like at this point. So tomorrow with Thursday, kind of expecting a blog post and a reveal. We usually get that stuff happening about a week before the launch of the season. I was kind of expecting it to happen today, but with it not happening today, well, then it again pushes it back to one day later. So of course, we'll keep you up to date with everything you need to know here as season three information rolls on. But for now, that's what we're gonna call it. So before we wrap everything up, do me a favor, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. I know you've heard the pitch before, but truly, I love these guys. Gamer Advantage, for anyone who does not know, is a blue light glasses company that makes the best products in my opinion on the market their frames are comfortable lightweight and durable with their lenses being clinically proven and prescription compatible so insurance can help cover that cost if not cover the entire cost of what your purchase may be i've used just about every generic pair you could find on amazon before partnering with these guys but while admittedly the price is more of an investment i do truly believe the product and the quality is reflective of that price point and your vision i definitely think is something worth investing in so if you're like me looking at any sort of screen for prolonged periods of time a day if you'd like to learn more head on over to the link in the description below you can find a breakdown of the science the clinical studies, more information on everything. And of course, if you want to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO for 10% off your entire order. But that said, that is where I call it. So linear thoughts down below. Do you like anything out of what we've seen so far for season three and what's been detailed to date? Maybe not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it out on insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay the day with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. Of course, with season three rolling along, we got a lot to talk about here in the near future. So if you're interested, love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Honestly, espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.